Yeah. We be on them highways. Tell them be cool, we on the byways. Bring out the word, they looking sideways. Oh, oh. I don't do it my way. We on the highways. Talking about Tell them be cool, we on the byways. Bring out the word, they looking sideways. Six man, demons rolling up. I'm about to fix that. Scoffer about to talk. I got the word for him. I ain't even know I even heard from him. Scriptures coming out and ain't no word from him. Ah, uh, as soon as I pull up the laws, they run away. You was laughing, he gon' laugh at your calamity. Jesus went to church. Yeah, today. Not on a Sunday. No. Not Domingo, no. Oh. So, sister, if Jesus went to, ch went to church on Sabbath, the Sabbath, shouldn't we do the same thing? Right. Yeah, we gotta keep today holy. Yeah, we gotta keep today holy. We don't keep a holy. That's why we in, in the conditions we are today. Yeah. Give me that through the Bible scripture again. Deuteronomy 28. 28, the one with the uh, the, with the uh, speaking another language. 28 and, 50, and 49. Check this out, sister. Listen to this, sister. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 49. Now Moses is talking to the Israel. Read. Moses is talking right here. Moses is talking to the Israelites. Read. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. From far. Give me that sign. Give me the sign. Give me the sign. From the fall, read. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth. They came way from over here, up in Europe. Yeah. They're Christopher Columbus, the Ponce de Leon, they, um, who else? Cortez. They came from far, from Europe. Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. A nation whose tongue. My sister, Antonia, before, before, Columbus came to Puerto Rico, Dominica. There was no habla espanol. No. Read. A nation whose tongue thou not understand. Read. A nation of fierce countenance. Fierce countenance. Read. Which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. Read. Give me some the, the eagle fly. Read. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle. I want the one that says swift as the okay. eagle fly. Verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies. Who symbol is the eagle? Who symbol is the eagle? America, France, Greece, Spain. They symbol is the eagle. They came against our people, read. A nation whose up. tongue thou shalt not understand. So you didn't understand those Spanish before they came over there. That's a slave language. Right. It's like English. I don't come from England. That's a slave language put on us. Give me that sign right there. Give me that sign right there. So when they came to Puerto Rico, read. A nation of fierce countenance. Mean looking people. Which shall not regard the person of the old. So, so, so look, 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 look. Look at the women. The younger people and the baby, they they, they burning them. The Indians, the ones that worked in Puerto Rico. Yeah, the Borico Indians. The Taino Indians. But before, look, listen. Antonio, before they call them names, this is the true name for you. Right. Ephraim. That's right. Ephraim for the ones in Puerto Rico. The ones for the ones in Mexico, Issachar. That's the God name. The ones in Argentina and Chile, Neftali. That's the true name of God. The ones in uh, in Cuba, Manasseh. That's the name in the Bible. In the, the, the Iglesia, La Biblia. That's the name that God calls our people. Right, that's right. The true people. <laughs> so you you according to the Bible. Lift it up for her. You're talking about the, about the Native American Indians, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Bariqua, Bariqua is a Hebrew word for... Bariqua is a Hebrew word means brave. But what I'm, what I'm showing you in the Bible that before they had a name called Indi Indian, 
They were called the Israelites. Deuteronomy 10 verse 12. No, give me first Kings 8 47. Give me first Kings. You said they're not slaves now? No. Right no, now. Right now. We haven't got slaves out. Listen. Listen. Think about this. Right now. Right? Right now. Antonio, right now, who owned the country over there? Who owned the country right right now? The, the, the gringos. The gringos. So right now, this day, we're not we're not in we're not in chains, but we still a slave because we don't we don't have our land. Right. They still own our land. But we're gonna read the Bible how we're gonna get that, we're gonna get it back. Right. We gotta keep God's commandments. Read 1 Kings 8, verse 47. Bring it out. Antonio, Antonio, listen, listen to this. It's just Antonio. Listen to this. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse 47. Bring it yet if they shall bethink themselves. Read it slow. It says, yet if they shall bethink themselves. Bethink means to remember. Right. Remember yourself. Remember that you're not Puerto Rican, Mexican. Remember that you were Israelite. Read. Right. In the land whither they were carried captives. In the land where they were carried captives. In all these lands, we were carried captive. If we remember who we are, read. And repent. Repent. Antonio, we got to repent. We get, Repent means to change our life and start keeping God's commandments. Right. right. We must repent. Read. And make supplication. Read. Unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive. In the land of them that carried them captive. Read. Sing. We have sinned. Antonio, we, we got to admit that we have sinned. We got to admit to God that we have sinned. We want to change our life. Read. And have done perversely. And have done perversely. Cameraman, you getting hurt too? Everybody got sinned. Huh? Everyone got sinned. Everybody got sinned. Everybody got sinned. When the hurricane came to when the hurricane came to Puerto Rico, that was that was a judgment. That was a judgment for the most high. We cannot sin again. Sister, the only way we are covered unless we unless we keep God's commandments. That's the only way. To, that's the only way to be covered unless we keep unless we keep God's commandments. No, sister, we are no, we are we are not saved unless we keep God's commandments. Yeah, I know. God way our when, 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 Christ, when Christ came, Christ came to give the opportunity to keep the commandments. We must keep them now. We are not, we're not washed with the blood of Jesus. No. We gotta keep his commandments. I know we have to keep it. Give I'm me Romans 6 23. I'm talking about the things. We're gonna read. Bad, 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 bad. Give me Romans 6.20. Okay, you are you saying you saying okay when we do a sin and you ask for forgiveness from Christ, that's when yeah, yeah. But you have to keep you have to keep you have to keep keeping the commandments. Yeah. Over and over and over again. Check this out. Romans 6 Romans, The book of Romans, chapter 6, and verse 23. Bring it out. For the wages of sin. If we sin, read. Is death. Is death, read. But the gift of God. It's eternal life through Jesus Christ through our Jesus. Lord. We gotta keep the commandments, sister. Yeah, he did it for me, he did it for him, he did it for him, he did it for him. But we have to keep it if we do not keep it. If you don't keep it, read Romans 6 23. Not read Romans 6 23 again. The book of Romans chapter 6, listen, verse listen, 23. Listen, listen, listen. listen. For the wages of sin is death. So sister Antonia, if we don't keep it, read. What does it say? What does it say? For the wages of sin is death. We're gonna get death. We're gonna get death. Are you keeping it? Are you keeping them? Always. Give me numbers. Give me numbers. Give me numbers. Give me numbers. We're gonna. We're gonna. We, we. Antonio, listen. We're gonna read some. We're gonna read some commandments. Numbers 15. The book of the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Listen. 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 Are you doing this? Read. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Antonio, this is a commandment reading. He said, make fringes in the border. Read. Throughout their generations. It said throughout the generations. I mean, all the way down to you. I will even, I will, I 
Do you have do you have the do you have the fringes? Huh? Do you have the fringes? No. No, look what he said. Listen, you gotta you gotta listen. You gotta listen. Listen. Speak unto the children of Israel Read. and bid them that they make them fringes, fringes. Read. in the borders of their garments Read. throughout their generations. That's all the way down to now. All the way down to you, me, him, everybody here. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. The border of blue. He read it. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. To remember the commandments of the Lord. So Antonia, you, have, you first have to get your fringes on. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 22. So you got to wear fringe. That's a commandment. That's one you can start keeping. Now check this out. This is for you too. Deuteronomy 20, 22. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. I want you to hold that. I want you to hold that and give me modesty. I'm going to show you a commandment that you are keeping right now. And I'm going to show you one that you're not keeping. This one right now you're keeping. Titus. Oh, give me the one uh, woman uh, dressed modestly. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got yeah, 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 yeah. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Read. No. Oh. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest apparel means Antonio. Modest means covered up. You're a woman. Your body is covered up. You're keeping that commandment right now. Alright? Now I'm going to show you one that you're not keeping. First one with the fringes. We're going to read the one, another one. It's in Deuteronomy. Check this out. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put an, on a woman's garment. It said, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. A man should not wear a dress. A dress is for a woman. Read the first part again. This the, is for you. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now when God, when, now when God made pants, he made pants for the man. A woman is supposed to be wearing a dress. That's a commandment. So you should be wearing a dress and not pants. I know, but don't listen. You look like a bird. And look, what it's not. It's not. You know it's not, but you know it's not. Like, like, like I said, you're keeping modesty, but now you have to wear pants is for a man, a dress is for a woman. My Bible says, to dress like women, men dress like men. Exactly. Now, pants is for the man. Huh? Pants is for the man. That's what I said. Okay, now, now, oh, okay, okay, so now you have to make sure, you have to make sure, I understand, I'm not trying to condemn you, you have to make sure you go out and buy you some more dresses so you don't got to wear those pants. You got a home? So Antonio, you got to keep the commandments, you know better than that. God brought you out here to show you like, hey, look, we're going to call you out on it. What? Uh, you are you are you are a care person. I understand. So what you what you do? You still you can still wear a dress. You use pants. You use the pants. How do you use it? If you look at your heart, sorry. For my heart, I use it. Don't look. I know it's not a dress. I know it's a dress. If you know if, if you know it's not a dress, then you are willfully breaking God's commandments. That's right. Give me Hebrews. Hebrews ten verse twenty six. You look, 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 you admit it to me no. and to God. You say, look, I know it's not a dress. You saying that in front of God right now. We're going to read what God says about that. The book. Oh, look, 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 you can't, Antonio, you can't use pants like a dress. But check, but check this out. Read, check this out. The book of listen, Hebrews. Listen, listen, listen. Chapter 10, verse 26. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. If we sin willfully, Antonio, read. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. Christ's death don't mean nothing to you. So, Antonio, just continue and keep God's commandments. Right. Read it back in that flyer. We got a church right down the road in Pine Hills. Right on Silver Star. You gotta get out. You, you gotta wear a dress all you can. You gotta wear your fringes. You gotta keep the Sabbath off. Now, Antonio, today you work. You work today. You work today. You gotta try to find you a job where you don't have to work on the Sabbath. 
Today's a holy day. I understand it's hard. I understand. You gotta try to find a guy who you don't work. Give me, give me, uh, give me Exodus. Okay. So you say you love God? Do you say you love God? Do you say you love God? I love my God. Do you get love? I'm listening. Yeah. I'm looking at them, I see pants. That's what I said. So, God said don't wear, you can't use pants like a dress. But look, you're not going against me, you're going against the, you're going against the Bible. I'm listening, I heard you talk. You're going against the Bible, you're not going against me? I know, I understand, you was at work. I understand, I understand that, you was at work. Pants for pants. No, God said what you're wearing. He didn't say how you use it. He said what you're wearing. He said don't wear. He said a woman don't wear what a man should wear. Antonio, you know it's true. Read it. First John, chapter 5, and verse 3. For this is the love of God. That's how you love God, Antonio. Read. That we keep his commandments. That you keep his commandments, Antonio. Read. And his commandments are not grievous. And his commandments are not grievous. All right, Antonio. Bye -bye. of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.